Hey guys, welcome back. Now this next drill is one of my favorites. It's one of the best ways to develop that side kick. Make sure that the chamber's coming up, extending out, and rechambering. One of the biggest problems is not pulling the leg back in. So let's break this down, and then we'll talk about how we're gonna get however many we need to do, and of course we're on the water bottle challenge, so it's going to involve the water bottle and the chair. We've already got it out here, we might as well use it. All right, so Lexi, go ahead and bring the hands up, turn your body sideways, belly face, yep, use the right leg. No, Now find your distance, come up and make sure that you're not too close to the chair, you're not too far away. I want your foot to extend over it, but I don't want you to have to like, uh, for example, switch sides with me real quick. When you guys are working on this, don't get too close to it to where you're forced to kind of like bring the leg over here because it doesn't really help you. Uh, you want to back up enough from it to where you can chamber without hitting it here, but the whole key is to get that knee back and at the same time this foot turns over so we can extend, rechamber, and then right back down. So kind of find like what's comfortable for you that's not too close. I like to have my foot like right at the base of the foot and I've got about two feet widths between my feet. I shift a little on the back, knee comes up, foot turns, which turns the hips over, flattens out the leg, toes pull back, heel extends forward well over the chair, re-chamber right back in, and then back in the exact same position that we started from, okay? So from here we're going to come up, over, back, and down. However many times we have to do that is going to depend on the water bottle flip. So you're going to grab the water bottle, you're going to stand on this side, which changes the dynamics of things. Flipping it from behind the chair. Not landing it here, but landing it on the floor. Try that. Right. Now run around and get it quick. Now remember what we talked about in the earlier drill. Like how can we get to that? When you lean down, instead of bending over, maybe squat down. Right? That's two. Right. Maybe with a straight back. Or maybe we have them hop around. Or do jumping jacks in order to get to the bottle. Or just have them go quickly. Now this time when you get the bottle, I want you to shuffle. So when you shuffle around, I want you to grab it, shuffle back to the other side. So basically you're going to go in a circle around the chair. Squat down, grab it, keep on going. Yep. Try not to stop the motion. Nice. There we go. What number are we on? Seven. Keep going, keep going. Now we're going to stop. We're going to cap it at 10. Ah, come on, we got two more shots at it. Two more shots, you got this. Easy work. Ooh, that was close. Last one, last one. Getting the legs warmed up, shuffling around, keeping the back straight, and we're capped at 10. All right, so let me see you do 10 side kicks over the chair. Go ahead and put the bottle down to the side. Find your distance. Ready, and go. Good, now make sure that that other foot turns. Now, you don't have to go slow. I want you to go quick like you would normally throw it and see where the flaws peek their little heads out. Good, two, make sure that other foot's turning, too. I want everything to work together. Good, three. Ah, four, that's probably that slide up. Five, good. Six, that's right, come on, give me four more. Seven, those of you guys that are practicing this at home, make sure that you have a space open enough to where you're not kicking the chair into something that's gonna break, and time. Go ahead and grab the bottle and try again. So you can, uh, we're gonna stick with the side kick for now. Uh, the drill here, her circling around, uh, you can, of course, you can change that up. Uh, you can have them hop around. You can just have them run and grab it and come back. What do I have, two, three or four? And give me one more, one more. And time, perfect. That's good. So with this particular challenge, it's not necessarily how many times you can land the water bottle. Again, we talked about this before in some of the other videos. That's just something to give us a little bit of break or a little bit of rest in between. The main drill is when we're working on that side kick. So when you guys are working on this, again, make sure you have your distance. Now you can really turn the chair a couple different ways. If you want, you can flip it around this way and get like almost right up alongside of it. Make sure that the hands are up, knee comes up, extends over, rechamber and back. Here it forces it a little bit more and it makes you really kick that hip over. It's just a little bit more challenging, especially on the rechamber. With it this way, you could have a tendency to drop that on the way back, which could create a bad habit. But by spinning it around and keeping the back end here closer towards you, forces that rechamber back and in. So grab a fold up chair, grab something that's 
about your hip level or a little bit underneath that depending on what your skill level is as well set a goal for yourself by flipping the bottles if you get so good at it to where you're landing every time back up put a hula hoop put a block or something that you have to land it on in order to get a number i'm tony we'll see you in the next challenge